Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am going to share with you my latest assemblage piece. Um, I'm going to start with this old wall hanging, I guess. Um, obviously it says groovy. It's not me. <laughs> and then I have um, some uh, v VHS, yeah, VHS tape film reels. Um, and they were taken apart out of VHS tapes. And uh, I like the shape and texture and, you know, again, nothing gets thrown away in my studio. <laughs> Shout out to my dad for taking apart, I don't know, what seemed like a hundred VHS tapes to get me a box full of these reels. But I figure I'd put them to use. So... This is a long video. Um, it's longer than most of my videos, and for that I apologize. If you don't like long videos, you can change the um, speed um, at the bottom of the video if you're on your desktop, I believe. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna cover everything with um, Finnebear's black gesso. Like literally everything I put on here is gonna be covered in black, um, and. I always gesso plastic. Um, it, gesso is good for a million reasons. I mean, it's a primer um, and it gives tooth to whatever medium you're putting on top next. Um, if I were to just put paint over top of these plastic pieces, it wouldn't stick. So adding the gesso really, really helps. Um, so I have this Viva, yeah, that went super fast. Um, crackling paste and a I think this is a Dana Weekly no it's a dilution stencil it's well used obviously <laughs> um, and the crackle paste is like when you first put it down is not a very pleasant color to look at um, but once it dries and it cracks it's it's really cool very coppery coppery looking and I actually let it air dry I let it dry naturally which uh, you know I got no patience for dry time but I stepped away and let it dry naturally I feel like with any crackle medium that you get the best cracks when you let it dry naturally as hard as that may be for some <clears throat> me <laughs> I am some <laughs> So, I mean, look how gorgeous that is. Ugh, them cracks. It almost looks like snakeskin. So, all right. You guys know I have been cranking out resin blanks like a million, million times. Um, so, I broke out some of my Finnebear resin pieces that I made from Finnebear molds. Um, I, ugh, they're gears. What is it from? Um, it is the mechanical, I think it was the mechanical, um, the mechan, say mechanical one more time. It was the mechanical mold set. Anyways, um, so I'm going to use my Liquitex super heavy matte gel medium to attach, um, all these pieces. And like I was going kind of hard with the matte gel. I don't know. I don't know why. I mean, they're not super heavy, um, but there's no like centerpiece. So I wanted to make sure that there was coverage. And because I was layering them over top of each other, um, I really wanted to make sure that they were good and stuck. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to continue with the matte gel and somehow I think I got some like Ken Oliver color bursts, a pink in my matte media. I don't know how it got in there, <clears throat> excuse me, but it's pink. So whatever. <laughs> I try not to let it um, show through anything that I'm, that I'm using to, using the gel for to attach down. Um, and I did kind of set this up beforehand. Um, and then I, what I do is I'll take a picture of it when I get it how I like it. 
I'll take a picture of it and then I'll bring the picture up on my laptop, which is um, to the left of me. And then, so you'll see me like pause and then I'm looking to see which piece is going where. And then a lot of times too, like I end up not even putting it together the way I originally did or at that or how I originally wanted it to. So I'm just going to keep plugging away um, and I'm not going to make you guys sit through watching me attach all these gears because, you know, that's not what I do. <laughs> this video is long enough in itself and it's even sped up some. Um, so eventually we're going to cut two. Here we are. All the pieces attached. And then um, sometimes matte gel doesn't actually dry matte. Um, sometimes, I mean, as it should, but sometimes it doesn't. So I just touched up um, with the black gesso um, anywhere that it needed to be touched up. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with Art Alchemy's um, Metalik Wax in Emerald Green and uh, Ocean Blue, I think. Totally not the right name, I know it's not. <laughs> um, so, I'm gonna go, I, not that I struggle with metallic waxes or metallic paints, I love them. Um, I don't like to put them on solid. I like to put them on whatever project I'm working on and then spray the hell out of it with water. Um, I feel like it, it, the shimmer and the, like the metal effects of it spread pretty cool and it gives you a really, really neat effect. So I'm just going to go back and forth um, with the green and the blue and with my water bottle and spray it around, move move the piece around, um, add a little more of this, add a little more of that where I think it might need be, and um, sop up some where I don't want it to be. <laughs> and I'm working, um, when I do work with the Metal League paints, um, I have a hell of a time getting them off of my Tim Holtz craft mat. I, the, my glass media mat. I have no idea why I end up having to like scrape the paint off instead of being able to wash it off. So I put down a microfiber, micro fiber towel, um, to work on. Plus then it, <clears throat> then it catches, you know, all the excess water that I'm spraying around. And like I said, it's going to, I'm just going to keep adding little by little, dab some up. I mean, I spray the hell out of it with water. I'm sorry for my big old head getting in the way, but sometimes I can't see that, that far away. <laughs> And I really, really, really love this color combo. Um, the emerald green comes out, like when you put it down, um, you put it down blue, but then as you spray it with the water, it um, seeps out to like a greenish color, um, which I think is really cool. And I didn't want complete coverage um, on the film reels. Um, I guess that's, is that what they're called? Are they film reels? I mean, I guess, because they have film on them. <laughs> From a VHS tape, you know. Whatever. Getting old. Technology is catching up. Um, so now I have dark violet um, in the Metal League line, and I'm going to paint all the flowers with this. Um, and I do spray my paintbrush with water before... Um, I dip it into the paint pot uh, just to make it a little more fluid and you can't really I don't know I think in the video you can't really see the purple um, so much on top of the black right away but the more I add uh, you'll be able to see the purple on the flowers and then I'm gonna go in with brass hardware metallic and gold brush metal ink. Um, 
and I'm gonna work on I'm gonna focus on the background now um, I thought like I really loved that bronze um, crackle paste that I used but because I ended up covering up so much of it um, I still wanted to keep the crackle and I still wanted to keep the you know the diamond shapes that were back there but I feel like mm, the background was just too solid so um, I'm going to put my head in frame again because why not <laughs> so I'm gonna go back and forth with the brass and the gold and again I'm gonna spray it um, to get the paint moving just with straight water and kind of where the um, the brass or copper the brown diamond crackle diamonds were um, is where I use the gold and then um, the rest is where I use the brass. The rest of the background is where I use the brass. And again, spraying my paintbrush just to keep it a little more fluid. And then I don't, I don't add as much gold, um, cause gold, I feel like at least this metal -y gold is like so in your face. Um, and it's not as much of a grungy color as I normally like um, so I only add a little bit of the gold like I said around the the diamonds where the crackle paste was adding paint spraying adding paint spraying <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with once that's all dry um, I'm gonna go in with waxes I have Firebird, Electric Violet, Peacock, and oh, why can't I think of what the mint one is called? Thank goodness I like show you guys. Because <laughs> I totally suck at remembering names. And there it is, all dried up. All the Metal Lake paint is dry. Well, for the most part, dried up. And um, so I'm going to go in with all my waxes. And I'm just going to add highlights. Uh, some I'm going to add with my fingers. Um, some, because I have fat sausage fingers and long fingernails, I can't, <laughs> I can't get into certain areas. So I'll use a paintbrush for those areas. They're just so creamy and so yummy to touch. I... I love working with these waxes. I absolutely love them. I'm just kind of highlighting right now the edges of those reels. Um, some of them have almost like sawtooth edges, corrugated. I don't know what you want to call it. Not smooth. <laughs> and then um, I'm trying to work with like one color of wax at a time um, to add the layers that I want and I thought if I went darkest to light or lightest to darkest that was going to work but then I jumped from the mint right into the purple so that idea went out the door <laughs> like pretty much all of my ideas when I'm working on a piece and again I apologize for the length of this video um, assemblage pieces take time they you know you can't just create a piece in 10 minutes, a half an hour. Um, all of the elements had to, you know, be covered in gesso. That, that in itself, just covering the gears and um, the film reels probably took me an hour, easily, an hour and a half, um, just to cover those, in, oh, just to cover those in gesso. And like, I didn't even film that because who wants to watch that? <laughs> so boring. <laughs> um, but I mean, I try and keep my videos fairly short and to the point for you guys. Um, but sometimes, sometimes I can't because it takes me hours to create one piece. <laughs> so 20 minutes, I think is, is the length of this video. So because this is going to be a little bit longer of a process, I'm going to throw some music on for you guys and I will be back towards the end of the video. 
Um, I will talk to you in a few. Bye. Right, guys this is the end of it last minute touches um, I will show you some close-ups and then I have a ton of still shots um, the weather in Pennsylvania is absolutely horrible um, I got like a five minute window where there was no rain no snow um, it was still freezing cold and the wind today has been like tropical wind it's been horrible um but I was able to get some still shots outside even though the sun wasn't shining it was still better lighting out natural light outside than it was in my studio so I just snapped away tons of photos <laughs> so um I hope you enjoyed again I apologize for the length of the video I'm sorry it was so long um <clears throat> if you have any questions please please leave me a comment. Don't hesitate to ask. Um, 
And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you like what you see, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and then click the little bell icon so you can make sure you get notifications for all my videos. Um, yeah, thank you for hanging out with me and I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.